Hello everyone and welcome back to my Know By Year. In today's video we're going to have a little bit of a discussion about valuing experiences over stuff. So part of this video is going to be delving into the deeper questions of how behavior and value change is possible and part of this video is going to be delving into the problematic beliefs of experiences always being prioritized over stuff and how the consumerism habits are not always clean in one area versus in the other. Or conscious is perhaps a better word. How the consumerism habits are not always more conscious in the area of experiences versus consuming material things. So first of all, tackling the beliefs that lead us to appreciate material objects versus experiences. And this might be a little bit of dicey territory because it's not necessarily mutually exclusive that we either get stuff or an experience. And I've said this before in the video where I talked about the minimalist rules that don't strictly work for me. So with that out of the way, it's not always a choice between having stuff or having experiences. You can have a little bit of both, a little bit of neither, you know, whatever works for you. But if you're trying to make the transition from stuff to experiences. There's a few kind of value shifts that have to occur. The stage has to be set <laughs> to allow these value perception changes to happen. And sometimes it doesn't just involve ourselves, but it can involve our families, our friends, our kids. So if we think of the example of a family that's used to having a pile of presents under the Christmas tree for all the kids, moving to a family having perhaps one or two boxes under the Christmas tree with experience-based gifts in them, or saving for a family vacation and not having any presents under the tree, or having a limited amount of physical presents under the tree and saving most of it for a family vacation. And this is just going to look different for everybody, right? Some people are in the very fortunate position to be able to do it all and have trips and gifts galore over the holidays. Some people already are in the position where they don't have very many gifts, if any at all, over the holiday and Christmas period. So this is not supposed to give any value judgments or any pictures of what things should look like. But what I've observed in a lot of advice is that many times it stops short of actually examining what has to occur to value experiences over things. The advice is simply to choose experiences over things, to prioritize experience over material possessions, and that's kind of where it stops. And they might share some examples from their own lives about how going and doing this thing meant so much more than receiving this gift. And it's not always that simple or clear cut. And like I said in that other video, it's not always a case of you're not going to have the experience if you forego the gift. Hopefully you are having meaningful experiences in your life regardless of whether or not you trade your gifts for experiences. Especially when some of the experience examples are like going and having a coffee or taking a walk and looking at a sunset. I hope we're doing those things in everyday life, trying to make time for that kind of thing that can be a form of self-care without spending any money, a form of life fulfillment without pursuing materialism. We don't have to wait for an occasion where we would indulge in materialism to do those things. So it's almost like going from things to experiences is part of a larger identity shift and it can't really be achieved just by listening to that advice of choose experiences over things. It's about going from a place of being a holiday shopper to not being a holiday shopper. I don't think it's likewise as simple as replacing your holiday shopping for stuff with holiday shopping for experiences. There is a little bit of practical truth here in that if you choose things that are consumable for gifts, it is perhaps a more conscious way to give because not only will the receiver not have something sitting around their house, if it's, you know, a food item or a body care item, they might use that thing up and then it's no longer taking up their space. And also the resources used to produce it might be a little bit less intensive than material goods shipped from overseas or from who knows where. Even better if you can use local businesses to track your consumables. So there are arguably better ways to give gifts than not. And I will be doing more about gifts as the holidays approach closer and closer, so I might leave some of that to get deeper into on a future occasion. I guess this video is just going to serve as a little bit of an introduction to experiences over things. It's more about the identity shift and the value shift as a group of people, as a community, as a family, as a society. And then also, when we shift to experiences, we've got to be careful to do it in a conscious way because we can still overconsume experiences. We can still consume material goods in relation to experiences. It doesn't all of a sudden absolve your material consumption to say you're going to have a vacation instead of gifts under the tree. It doesn't all of a sudden make it a conscious choice 
In fact, if we're flying somewhere, it makes it a very environmentally un conscious choice. I, that's not the way to say it, but it makes it more of an environmentally destructive choice than perhaps your material goods would be. If you're going somewhere that an excess of tourists has put stress on the local environment, then that could be perhaps a less conscious choice as well. And then the commercial holidays, like the likes of the Disneyland, the cruise ships, things like that, those are wonderful experiences, or could be wonderful experiences, but they're also very consumerist and very problematic in nature as far as the sustainability, the workers' rights, the human rights, infringements that are occurring on these premises and on these experiential endeavors. So it's not just a blanket fix for the problem of consuming material goods. And I think it's another avenue for social media to present an aspirational path. So the brand trips is a wonderful example of this where not only do influencers receive material gifts from brands, and again, the Tarte trips come to mind where they went to Bora Bora on private jets seemingly from the, the video clips that have surfaced after that trip. Massive amounts of resources are consumed by sending influencers on trips, on brand trips. So I've seen the Tarte trip to Bora Bora, influencers getting flown to the Olympics, things like that. Even just going to beaches in New York and LA and other places for photo shoots and meet and greets or whatever they're doing. Whatever the brands are paying these influencers to go and do. And then the content that results from this traveling, this experience-based economy, is also presented as highly aspirational and, to be honest, pretty consumerist. A lot of times it does heavily feature purchases made prior to the trip, purchases made during the trip, <laughs> gifts given after the trip. A lot of it is very consumer-based. And I know this is kind of the largest scale of experience that we could talk about, you know, a, a big trip. And when we do it as a regular person, it's not the same as doing it as an influencer, not the same levels of consumerism. We're not on a private jet, most likely. We're not buying as much stuff or being gifted as much stuff. We're not earning money from creating aspirational content it can look much more reasonable. The levels of experiences can be much more local as well. It could be seeing a local play, supporting local artist groups, going to your symphony, ooh. In fact, if any of you are from Omaha and watching this video, I'm not joking, I would be happy to invite you to one of my symphony concerts with a complimentary ticket. Perhaps I'll make a community post about it. That might be a better way to do this. So the choice of experience is very important if you're trying to be a conscious consumer, which if you're a viewer of this channel or seeing this video, I would assume that you care about that at least a little bit. And I guess as a final point on this issue, there's not really a morally superior way to consume stuff or experiences. It's more about finding the values of your own life, what you care about in your own experience of your time on this planet, that help guide these decisions. And while I would advocate for everybody to become more conscious consumers, and live a life like this, it's not something that can be achieved by somebody telling you to do so. And I've done videos talking about finding your own way to these experiences of, dare I say, enlightenment or realizations and reflection. I'm sorry to report that my microphone has died, so I better wrap up this video here. But consider that maybe the tip of the iceberg of the discussion on experiences versus material things. And we can continue this <laughs> as we talk about gift giving and the holiday season draws nearer and nearer. I would love to read your comments below. And for now, I will say bye and see you in the next one.